Well, people trying to immigrate to the United States are thoroughly vetted, except for their social media accounts. 63% of people say it's insane that the government doesn't review social media of people applying for those visas. If they did, Tashfim Malik, one of the San Bernardino shooters, might have been flagged before coming to the U.S. So we went out to ask people on the street their opinions and take a look. Social media should be left as social media, um, unless there's like some very like trigger heavy things that they think someone's doing um, and then I guess they could continue with the investigation. I think all social media should be used everything at our disposal they're using it at their disposal. There are so many people on Facebook and so many different voices and if you really want to investigate I think um, it's very difficult to investigate on Facebook. It's important to keep track of people yes uh, who you're worried about but you know if you, if you get carried away with looking at people's Facebooks, you're just going to be investigating a bunch of false accusations and uh, people are just going to get carried away with it. I don't think, uh, I don't think Facebook is the way to go. Mm, well, some, some interesting points of view. Let's bring in tech investor Eric Schiffer, who joins us now. So, Eric, what is the is main issue here? Does national security uh, trump, if you like, um, the, the right to privacy? What's your view? Well, look, I, the problem that we really have, and uh, Donald Trump will, won't want me to say this, but uh, you have social media masters from ISIS that are seducing people, uh, and they're seducing them quite well. They bring them over to the dark web, and uh, using encryption, they are communicating. I mean, we've, we've seen now San Bernardino people who were... Uh, seduced through propaganda that came from ISIS. The problem that we really have is Silicon Valley, unfortunately, is really doing nothing. They're, they're, they're not. I mean, they're, we have this encryption uh, that is all through the dark web. Law enforcement can't get to it. In the past, we would normally get chatter. We would get this information uh, that we could oversee and, and hear. Law enforcement gets almost no chatter now because um, many of these technologies now are encrypted. So, so Eric, what Eric, it means let me, is... Let me just jump in very quickly. So, uh, Silicon Valley will say, once you open up the back door, it opens up the back door to all sorts of people, not just law enforcement. Do you agree? Um, I, that is what they're saying, yeah. okay? And, and you hear the CEO of Apple say this. Uh, but here's the thing. I mean, if ISIS were to convert a major CEO... And they'd have them say, and they'd tell them what to say. They'd have them say exactly what the CEO of Apple was saying. That's the party line. Right. There are methods. There are ways to do this to keep people safe. There are absolutely ways to get around it. What he's saying is not a good argument. He's well, saying that because, Frank... Well, we He's shall see. It it's Eric, because... we're already out of time, and I'm so sorry, but uh, <laughs> I think you made your point very well. All right, let's move on. Thank First, you. it was our friend.